All right, we're finally ready to start again, I think. Yeah, the game didn't freeze. Brian, you're coming to take my air bubbles. Well, that sucks. Can't let them do that. Okay, welcome back to more Let's Play Rayman 2. Great escape. The host is J4106. Right now we're following this whale. Sorry, bitch, I forgot your name already. Either way, let's follow the whale. Now the game didn't freeze on me. We can actually get through this properly. I can't believe that bull crap. I had to do the level over because of that. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't save in the middle of the level. You just have to go for it. Oh, man. Well, I think I'll be okay now. Well, I've been practicing my swimming. Holding A and Z at the right time. When you're going at a certain angle, it can keep you going at that angle, so... I don't know. I spent time learning a few more mechanics, so... That's good. Oh, this is near the end of the level, too. I remember this. I think underwater here. I want to say no, but... It's always fun to check. And again, this is a mostly shallow place, except for right here. By that, I mean there's a rope. Ladder. That doesn't mean it's not shallow. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> ah, but there are hidden lums in here. <laughs> oh, not this guy again. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Fall to your doom, you bastard. That one you have to learn. All right, that's where the rest of the lumps are. I hope I didn't miss a cage. Look at that. Three minutes in, we are now at the end of the level. One of the reasons why I was kind of hoping I could have finished that level in that episode, but no! I guess I'll climb this then instead. I do this level one way, the game makes me wants me to do it another way. It's an unfortunate cycle of life. Oh, come on! Oh, man. Oh, wait. I think I know where the last cage is. Yeah. I knew you were hiding. Aha. Now the teensy is waiting for us. At the exit of the level. But before that, I don't want to hear him. Oh, wait. I read that already. Wait, no, I didn't. This is different. The Locust then created the Teensies. Their role is to unveil all the roads in the world. They know every secret passage and can lead you to the Hall of Doors, where all paths eventually come together. And I'm now novice instead of naive. Or naive. Now I get the rest of the lumps here. Here we go. There's only one lump left. Oh god, please don't tell me I missed it. Aha! Damn right, bitch. Let us dance! Dance, 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 dance! And in we go. And just like that, we are done well bay. Well, that took five minutes. Okay. So I guess it was a good thing that level kind of ended there, huh? Oh well. 
Oh, hey, different path this time. Let's see where I'm going now. Oh, lily pads. Clearly, his way is faster than your way, especially when you're going... We're taking, like, the worst way possible. What makes you think that this way is good? Good thing he doesn't know how to go up a hill well. Now keep going. Uh, I still beat him by a lot. I don't know when he fell, but that hill really slowed him down. Well, I'm already full. Oh, hey, what are those? Oh, it looked to be golden fist icons? Hmm. That could be useful. I guess. Whatever that is. Oh, Rayman's hands are gold. <gasps> oh, no. This is the longest level in the game, I'm pretty sure. The Sanctuary of Stone and Fire. This was why I wanted to get the last level done, I think. In the last episode. Because this level is going to take forever. This level is probably going to take two episodes. Like, I kid you not, this level is really long. Especially if you want to get everything. Just like the Sanctuary of Water and Ice, this one has a similar cutscene, but they're more organized, again. Just like before, you need a certain number of plums. I don't know what the number is, but get enough. I'm gonna guess it's like 250. Just an educated guess. Seeing as I have 399, I mean, apparently they'd want you to get more than half, but they're not gonna try to make you get every single damn one. Because you don't need all the lumps to get to the end of the game. It wasn't obvious already. That'll just be stupid. Ain't that right, fellas? Uh, fellas? Now, Calbrew my, stew my way into this door with my golden hands. No. Oh. Oh, yo! I'm fighting a whole bunch of power fists now. Oh! Damn! Wow, these are some powerful fists. Okay, so these golden gloves allow me to, uh... Punch. Powerful manner. Good. Huh. Red lums down there? You gotta be kidding me, dog. Mm. Aha! You can't mess with my golden fist of fury. How about me? Bam! Feel my punch of justice. Ugh. A cage under there? How am I supposed to get to any of these? Hmm. Ah, there is that though. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I see caves all over the place. Ooh. Another purple lump. How can I resist? Must go back over. Because I saw it go this way. Ah, camera angle. The camera angle will get really bad here. Check it out, there's a golden glove there too. Yes, this would have been the level to introduce the golden glove concept, but since I got from the bonus stage, there was no need. So I can just save it for now. Thankfully, this level is filled to the brim with checkpoints. But, again, it's a long level. Ow! Hey, I lost one of my golden gloves, you bastard! Ow. 
damn it. Okay, so that's simple enough. Every time I get hit, I lose a golden glove. So if I take three hits, well, I won't be able to use my gloves anymore. Good thing to keep in mind. Now, where am I heading? In this awful lava world. Spider web. Oh, no! Oh, man, it falls count to that, too. Here's the horrible mechanic to this level. The plum. Similar to the boat that I did in Super Mario Sunshine last year. You have to fire your punches backwards to control this damn thing. While it's not as unbearable as the boat, it can be, well... Yeah. It'll be a little weird to figure out. I mean, this, at least this one makes more sense physics-wise, so... I can't be too mad. A lot of dangerous territory, though. That's how you get to these. Also how you get to the red lumps back here. Don't worry, this thing lasts forever. And you can hit walls with it, so... Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to abuse the damn plum. Oh, but they're not only used for that. They can also be used as footing. Yeah, there are plenty of reasons to, uh, you know, go about it this way. Oh, man. Oh, God! I'm an idiot. I just realized how to do that. And now my golden gloves are gone. Damn it. Oh, well. It was fun while it lasted. I can go get the other pair after I'm done with this. However, they don't, these plums don't stay on here forever. I'm an idiot because I now just realized how I'm supposed to do this puzzle. Throw this over to the spike. Now stand under it instead of getting on top of it. So I can throw it to that one. This is how you get it across these ridiculous platforms. This is just ridiculous. Okay. All that just to get a little extra height to get to this cage. Man. What kind of ridiculous world is this? I remember my first time through this level. I don't remember how long it took me, but I want to say... I didn't find everything. In fact, I missed most of the things in this level my very first time through. And it took me... about an hour? So yeah, sit tight. This level is going to be long, but that's why I'm going to split up into two parts, so... You don't have to sit through this insanity through one entire video at least. I was going to say you don't have to sit through the entire thing. I was going to say why wouldn't I do that? I'm just not going to do the entire thing in one video. That's just terrible. There's a lot of that action going on. Okay, now I get the other pair of golden gloves so I have at least somewhat of an advantage when I continue onward. Jump higher. Damn it, Rayman. Don't you know how to jump higher than that? Yeah, golden gloves. And the golden glove goes to Rayman. So many golden glove puns. Yes. 
Oh, you can even charge your punch in midair. Sweet! You just can't jump and charge. You can be in the air while you charge, you just can't jump and charge. Good to know. Okay, so let me look around a bit, just to make sure. I went into here. I can tell because I went around that. Ah, I can get up there, though. I didn't go up there. I might want to do that next. I should have done that the first time. Oh, well. Since these plums are indestructible, there's really no worry. Uh. What do you mean, no controller? That's, uh, awkward. Give me a second. Damn you, N64. What are you doing? Why are you telling me I don't have a controller plugged in when I clearly do? There we go. Sorry about that. Yeah, my, uh... The N64 is an old console. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it's not the best when it comes to controller detection. In fact, the dumb thing is, if you try to start the console without having controller in the player one slot, it'll tell you, hey, there's no controller in here. You can't play the game now. Until you turn it off with a controller plugged in. You can't even plug one in and join in partway through. All the controllers have to be plugged in as soon as the console's turned on for it to acknowledge that they're there. Kind of stupid, but, well, unfortunately that's what you gotta put up with. Hey, look at you. Ah! Wow, what a waste of an attack. Oh, hey, where are you going? Oh, what the hell? Oh, wait, I know what I'm supposed to do. In fact, it has to do with this plum. Like I've said before, these guys are pretty stupid. Case in point. Yeah, he's pretty dumb. Check that out. Throw a plum on their heads, they can't see, so they decided to just start doing stupid things. Standing in one spot, for example. So, yeah, he won't attack you anymore, and you can use him as a free platform. Keep things like that in mind as you go through the level. Also, that lava's too hot, so don't throw plums in there! Damn it. Well, I got the things there. So now it's time to actually make progress. See, this is one of the levels that really have a lot of secrets for you to find. Hey! No! No! Quit being a dick. A bunch of little bugs here, too. You gotta frequently punch these guys out of the way or they'll take out your gloves. Pretty annoying. Oh, I seem to have gotten rid of them. That's good. Oh. Maybe not all of them. Okay, this one looks like I actually have to sail down. Can't, as you can probably tell, these plums can be hard to control. And some go away in places you can't reach. Oh, what the... Oh, look at that. I'm near stairs and I had no idea. Ah, what the? I got stuck on the other side. Oh, you can always use this as a method to go back, but I don't think there's anything sitting here waiting for you. Nope. Oh, man. This level's really torture. Alright. On to the next part. Now's when the maze kind of begins. You guessed how to climb under the plum and move by shooting in the opposite direction. Yeah, 
obviously. If you want to grab it, stand in front of it. You can throw it in the air. Just press A. I know how to throw. Or throw it in front of you. Just press B. I know. The plot lets you move on lava as well as water. And why not stick one on a post? When it's far away, shoot it to make it move. Other than the shooting, added thing, I knew all these. Don't hesitate to use it against your enemies. I knew everything but the shooting added part. Thanks, ass. Okay. So. Let's use this device and shoot it at it so we can get up here. Go up against the lava current. You don't have to go this way, but if you want to get everything level, you do want to go this way. Here comes probably the most frustrating part of the level. If you want to get everything. This little temple. Ah, I hate this temple. Anyway, I'll let you experience it for yourselves. Hmm, you're a cage already. I would hope it's not in lava, that would suck. Oh, it's up there. Oh god, fire. Yeah, the fire really is a pain. Oh wow, I accidentally broke down that that uh, wall that was sitting there. In case nobody noticed I could break it. Probably not because I didn't point it out. Oh well. Onward to adventure! Oh. Get out of the way, please. Oh, even better. It actually helped me. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, I freed you, but now I need to figure out how to get to you. Oh, perhaps that. Thank you. Thankfully, there's nothing that sinks. If there was stuff sinking in lava, I would be so mad. Or fire. I would have thought a single punch could break down a stalactite like that. Oh no, moving platform. Unfortunately, this thing goes on its own path, so I can't control a damn thing about it. I hear a cage. But where is the cage, I wonder? Oh man, there's fly there's fire jumping all over. I was gonna say flyer. Ah, no! Look at Indiana Jones. He doesn't know what a true temple of doom is like. Oh god, mini spider! Stupid mini spider. Now I lost my health. I mean my yeah. Hey! I thought I got rid of you. Okay, I need to find a way to reach that purple lump. But I can't do it from here. Perhaps if I go up here, I can. Yeah, those spiders aren't even hurting me. They're just being assholes. Stupid spiders. Oh god. Try again. Uh oh. I don't like what's on the slide in there. I have a feeling it's going to be a really bad, so bad that I'm going to save it for next time. Should I give up on life? Should I? I'm very tempted. Ow! Damn it, you made me dizzy, you stupid flamer. <laughs> 